Texas Southern came into this game showing that they wasn't afraid to go up against that JSU defense. Letting them know early that, hey, we can jump out and take a lead. But the million dollar question was, it, how JSU is going to come back and combat the things that Andrew Body and his running backs were doing to the JSU defense? Guys, we're going to break this game down right after this. Welcome back to Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. And for all my leaders out there, y'all know the drill, y'all know the routine. Hey, if you done, if you haven't done so by now, hit that notification bell, like, comment, and share on all videos. Guys, I'm going to tap on in this thing right now, but don't forget, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and get into this thing and just blow it out the water right now because I'm going to tell you right now, JSU came into this game starting off on the wrong foot. I'm just going to be honest with you. I mean, you, you come out, you get you get the ball on the kickoff, and you're already blocking people in the back. I mean, what are we thinking about here? And not to mention, we got missed field goals. We got fumbled opportunities. We left about, uh, I say roughly, they left about – about 20 points on the field today against Texas Southern. I, I will say that. They left about 20 points on the field against Texas Southern. Guys, I do apologize if the lighting is a little off. I am out of town. I, I am in Louisiana right now. I was trying to get over to the Southern game. I uh, had a bit of an issue with trying to get the rental car so that I can get there. They wanted to try to uh, hem your boy up. I ain't with the okie doke. We ain't doing it like that by no stretch of the imagination. But, yeah, um, I will say this, not to mention the missed field goals. You also have Wyman dropping passes. And, I mean, you, you, but I got to give Wyman credit. For the ones that he dropped, this one, this one, this one touchdown pass he caught, my God, I didn't think he was going to catch that one, but I got to give him credit on that one for sure. But uh, Texas, well, they didn't do much to help themselves in this game either, especially with all of the unsportsmanlike penalties. I mean, they would just get penalized, you know, penalty after penalty just on stupid stuff. And not to mention, they turned the ball over a couple times themselves. And the receivers for Texas Southern didn't help Andrew Body out much themselves in this game either because I'm going to be real with you. Some of y'all going to get upset, but you know me. I'm going to call it straight down the middle. Those JSU defensive backs, was getting they was getting smoked out there today. Guys, y'all got to start. Y'all ain't listen. Quit, get out of the habit of thinking that the defensive front, that defensive seven for JSU is always going to get back there and sack or put pressure on the quarterback for him to overthrow a receiver or make a bad throw. A lot of times that's not going to happen. If that man had connected with a couple of those passes, man, hey, we've been looking at a different score on the scoreboard. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I know y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all just want to hear me say this, 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 and this. I'm not going to do that, guys. Y'all already know that. I'm going to give it to you straight down the middle. But uh, Andrew Body, like I said, he, he's going to be that guy for years to come. Andrew Body is a dual threat quarterback, but he got to learn to trust himself, trust his arm, and trust his player, trust the teammates out there on the field. Like I said, he had plays. All he had to do is just step into the throw and let it go, and he refused to do it. Yes, he can pull that ball down. He can run it with the best of them. He can run that option like there is no other, and they were killing JSU with that option because I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, even though Andrew Body threw the 28 times completing 12 for 79 yards, listen, the young man knows how to shake up a defense. That young man is able to shake up a defense because if the defense is if the defense is not able to contain him, guess what he's able to do? Pull the ball and go. The crazy thing about it is they ran the ball against the JSU defense. They they rushed for 259 yards and three touchdowns. Are you kidding me? 259 yards and three touchdowns? JSU, you do know Southern, you, you do know you're playing Southern next week, right? That can't happen, not going into that game. Guys, we, we got to get that together. But you know what? Number 23, Ja'Cory Howard, he had two rushes for three yards with two touchdowns. And also you had Dominic Franklin. He had five rushes for 17 yards and one touchdown. But that bad man, uh, Ladarius Owens, oh, my God, he rushed the ball 23 times for 189 yards. He he had JSU just guessing. Like I said, when he hit that edge, he was going to end. We got to make sure we keep our heads up when we're coming in the backfield because guess what? A lot of times, like I said, when you knife down, they're going right around you, up the field. And guess what? You're leaving that wide open. That's why I keep saying you got to keep your head up so you can see what's going on. Matter of fact, there was a couple times you had body boxed in, but because you went to reach for the running back, thinking the running back had the ball, body take off up the field, run it, run it free. When y'all should have had them stop on a third down. So those, those are the little things that I'm talking about that you got to pay close attention to in these games. Like I said, defensive backs, you guys got to get it together as far as what you cover. I've never seen, well, I'm not going to say never because this has happened in the past two to three games where you guys have been 
a little lackadaisical as far as what you cover, where the receivers are just blowing right by you, even though, like I said, the quarterback is not able to get the ball down the field, does not mean that a play cannot be made. You got to understand, we've seen already where folks are just fly one up in the air. It'll be so fluky throw, and guess what? The uh, receiver catches it, score a touchdown, and guess what? Now the momentum has totally shifted, and that's not what we're looking to see here. So you got to stay on your assignments, guys. But uh, like I said, um, I would say this. <clears throat> I, I would definitely say this. Uh, uh, Texas Southern and Texas Southern interior offensive line, they did a good job on blocking because the running backs for Texas Southern were able to run the ball and they were able to score a touchdown. But when it came to blocking, man, it, that, that was that didn't work out that great. If they ever, once they get that together, Texas Southern and Andrew Body back there in that pocket is going to be a problem. But like I said, Andrew Body got to trust his teammates along with trust himself throwing that ball down the field to the receivers for them to catch it for him to make a play. Give them the opportunity to make a play, Body. You can't take all of that on yourself and try to be Superman. In this game, I believe you try too much to be Superman instead of staying within the system so that you and your teammate, teammates will have a better opportunity to win this game. Remember, you guys were up in the first half well, in the first, excuse me, into the second quarter, uh, 14 to seven. And then, you know, Jack State came back and scored 14 points. And then they went up 21, 14 and a half. But then you guys, like I said, y'all came back out, y'all scored that one touchdown. And then JSU clamped down on you. The defense clamped down on you with that front seven. And it was all she wrote after that. But like I said, I'm sure, um, I'm sure Texas Southern will figure out a way to get that together for, you know, future times when they end up playing again. But you got to talk about Shadua Sanders, man. When I say that young man come out there on the field with that Joe Cool mentality, hey, he is your favorite quarterback's quarterback because guess what? No matter what you say, no matter how you call it, that young man comes out there and puts on a show every week when he steps onto the field. And even when you think he's down, he ain't down. He's just figuring you out to see exactly what he needs to do next as far as we're making a play to continue to keep moving those chains for us. Shadua Sanders threw the ball 41 times, complete 25 uh, for two, complete 25 for 305 yards and three touchdowns. Now, I said the JSU running game was going to be big today, and guess what? We had a pick in it, Marshall Sight in the day. Yes, we did. Guys, like I said, when those guys get out there and run the ball, the two of them together rush for over 200 yards. So that was a great thing to see happen today for Jackson State. Um, Pickett rushed the ball uh, 15, Pickett rushed the ball 15 times for 104 yards, two touchdowns. And Martin rushed the ball 12 times for 94 yards and one touchdown. But like I said, JSU, you still got a few things that you got to you gotta iron out with that offense. It's getting better. It's getting better. Even though you guys played against the the the, low, the, the lowest ranked defense in the SWAC, you still came out there and did a little better than normal. I got I, You, you got to give credit where credit is due. But like I said, just keep grinding, guys. Keep working. And it's all going to come together. But like I said, you guys are going to see um, – you're going to see Southern next week. And trust me, they they trying to come bring that pain. they playing uh, uh, FAMU tonight. Uh, like I said, I'm here in Louisiana right now. I am in New Orleans. I am trying, like I said, I was trying to get to the game, but I'm not about to get jerked by no car company to rent no car. And I only need it for the day. I'm not trying to keep no car till Monday. That's not going to happen, especially if I'm getting it from the airport. And I'm just keeping it real with you on that all day long. I'm sorry. I'm just not doing it. But, um... Like I said, Texas Southern, they, they're going to be a handful for teams years to come. They just got to get those little things together. And I think uh, Andrew Body, along with a few of those, Andrew Body and the rest of the players that's on that team, I think they'll work that out and get it together. Like I said, he still has some growing as well. Everything is not going to be based off of him using his legs, trying to keep the team in the game. You got to make a play with your arms sooner or later because, trust you me, a defense is going to clamp down on you, and guess what? They're going to lay that wood like Houston did, forcing you to fumble the ball when you guys had an opportunity to possibly score and tie the game. That's how quick this thing turns around. That's what I said. You got to, you know, you got to get that game together. Like I said, he's a great young man, great quarterback. He got, he has true upside, but it's just the little stuff now that got to be worked on, and I'm sure they'll get that fixed, and he'll be ready to rock and roll in the near, near future. But like I said, um, JSU, y'all got Southern next week. What you going to do? Because like I said, I hope you guys are sitting down looking at film. And I promise you, Jay, uh, I promise you, Southern's probably going to try to find a way to add that daggone, uh, that pitch, that option into their game plan 
just because you guys had a hard time trying to dag on cover that today. So you better get out there and practice today and get, I mean, get out there and practice this week and get to working on it. We're going to talk about it. Trust me. Coach going to bring it back to you again so you understand what's going on. But, guys, I ain't going to hold you guys up no longer. But until next time, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can like. Hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. Don't forget, like, comment, share these videos as well. Follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. And remember, be the one and lead.